Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a new hard drive in your PS4. Now, this could be used to upgrade the hard drive to a bigger one like what I'm doing. I'm going from a 500 gig to a 1 terabyte. Or it could be used, for example, if the hard drive in the PS4 died, you could replace it with a whole new one using the same technique. Now, you're going to need three main things for this. The first is, of course, a PS4, and the second, a hard drive. Now, this needs to be a 2.5-inch internal hard drive, so, in other words, a laptop hard drive, and it needs to be 9.5 millimeters or slimmer. Now, theoretically, an SSD should work, too. Um, people have done that before. But, yeah, a 2.5-inch computer storage drive. That's what we need. So, either one should be fine as long as it's 9.5 millimeters or less. It has to be SATA as well. You can't use a parallel ATA drive, otherwise known as IDE. That's not going to work for this. The third thing you're going to need is a screwdriver. There are five screws we're going to be working with, and uh, one screwdriver should fit them all. It's a Phillips head. Now, the fourth one is actually optional. It's a USB drive to back up your data. Now, you can back up your save files and your settings and even your games. The only thing is if you want to back up your applications and games, you need a drive that's big enough. So you're probably going to have to work with like an external hard drive for that or a really big flash drive depending on how many games you have installed. And it's going to have to be formatted to FAT32. I'll go over how to do that in the video. The last thing I'll note before we get into it is that this method will work for the PS4, the PS4 Slim, and the PS4 Pro. The only difference is some of the actual hardware in taking it apart. The process is slightly different, but everything else is exactly the same. And I'll give you a link to where the diagrams are on Sony's website if you have a model other than the original PS4 and need to see how to take it apart. So jumping right in, the first thing we're going to want to do is take your USB drive, whether it's a flash drive or an external hard drive, and plug it into your computer. Then go to this PC on Windows, or my computer in older versions, and you should see your drive there. What you're gonna wanna do is back up any data on it, like transfer it onto your computer, because we need to format this as FAT32. If you know for certain it's already formatted as FAT32 and it has enough storage space, then it should be fine. Otherwise, we'll need to format it. So like I said, back up your data, because this is gonna delete everything on the drive. Now what you're going to do is right click on the drive here and click format. And in this window that pops up, just select under file system FAT32 and click start. You can leave quick format checked as well. That'll be fine. It's going to come up with this warning again, letting you know that everything's going to be erased. As long as you've backed everything up and you're sure, hit OK. and then it's going to format the drive and come up with this format complete message. Now that the drive's formatted, you're just going to want to right click on it again and this time hit eject. Once it comes up that it's safe to remove, you can unplug the drive. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is back up your data. Now you can skip this step, you'll just have to install everything from scratch. If you do want to back up, just go to settings, system, backup and restore, and backup PS4. You may see this warning, it's just telling you that uh, there are other users on the PS4 who don't have trophy data synchronized. So someone earned a trophy in a game, and if you back up, you'll lose that data without first uploading it. If you care, you can stop now and upload it, just a quick Google search for how to do that. But otherwise, just hit OK to move on. And then it's going to come up with this summary of everything that's on your PS4. How much your uh, capture gallery is, how much your save data takes up, settings and your applications and the storage space that all of those require. Now you see you have to include captures, save data and settings. The one thing you get the option on is applications. So if you have a drive that's not big enough for your games, which is the case I'm in, you can uncheck applications so that you can back up everything else and re-download those after. So that's what I'm going to do and then just hit next. I'm going to let you know the PS4 is going to restart and everything will be stored on the storage device. Just hit backup. The PS4 will go through this preparing, and then it'll reboot. Once it's done rebooting, it's going to go into this backing up PS4. Uh, you'll have a progress bar. It's going to take a little while, especially if you're transferring games and applications. Just give it the time to do its thing. Wait for it to finish. 
All right, now once all that's finished, you're gonna get this screen saying it's complete. Just hit okay and the PS4 will restart. Now that's done, this next part is gonna be on the computer again. Unplug your flash drive and plug it back into your computer. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to this website, the link will be in the description. And once you're there, just scroll down until you get to perform a new installation of the system software. And you're just gonna to wanna to click this little download now button to start the download. Now what you're downloading right now is actually the operating system for the PS4 and we're going to put it on that flash drive in a special folder so that the PS4 can find it for the new hard drive and install it. Wait for that download to finish and once it's done, open up your flash drive again. You'll see this folder already in it called PS4. Go into that and create a new one called UPDATE in all capital letters just like I'm doing here. Ignore the export folder, that's actually the backup we just did. So we need those files, don't delete them or anything. Now once we've got our update folder, just drag the ps 4 updatepup file that we just downloaded into that folder. It may take a few minutes to transfer depending on the speed of your USB device. And once it's done, you're just going to want to eject that device again and unplug it from the computer. Alright, now that we're done everything on the computer side, the next thing we're going to need to do is physically change the hard drive in the PS4. Now like I said earlier, this is the part of the process that will differ slightly for different models. What I'm working with is the original PS4. If you've got a Slim or a PS4 Pro, you can check out the second link in the description that has diagrams that will show you how to take that apart. It's still really easy. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is unplug everything from your PS4, the power and the HDMI and anything from the USB ports, and then you're just going to pop off the smaller of the two side panels on the top, the one on the left, just push it to the left. It might take a little bit of force, but nothing too bad, and once it's off, that's going to expose the hard drive and we'll be ready to switch it. So now that you see the plate is off, you'll see this screw here. Now even with the original PS4, there are slightly different revisions. For me, the screw is on the left here, but there is a version where it's in the middle, otherwise this is exactly the same. Just take that screw off, this is the screw holding the hard drive tray in. And once that screw is taken out, we can just slide out the hard drive, and here it is. Now the next thing we need to do is take the hard drive out of this tray. So you'll see these four screws all along the corners on the sides here. Just take them off one at a time, and once those are off, we can put our new hard drive in the tray and put the screws back in. It should have holes in just the same spots for screws. So just screw it back in. And now that that's all set, just slide it back into the slot on the PS4 and put the screw back there too. Now that you've got the PS4 hard drive back in, just put the top plate back on, just put it on the top and then slide it to the right again so it locks back into place. And now we're ready to plug the PS4 back in and turn it on. To turn it on, uh, make sure you hold down the power button for at least 7 seconds and that's going to boot it into safe mode which will allow us to install the new software. Once you've done that, you're going to see this screen where it's telling you to plug in the controller and press the PlayStation button, just do that, and then you'll get this menu. Scroll down to the very bottom, the 7th option, and select Initialize PS4 Reinstall System Software. It's going to ask you to connect a storage device, and it's normal for this message to come up even if you've already plugged in the USB drive. So if you haven't, just plug it in now and hit OK. And again, that's the drive that we did our backup with and put the update software on. It'll say please wait for a few minutes, and then it'll give you this warning that this is going to delete anything that's on the PS4 right now. Hit yes. Remember this is our new drive, so there shouldn't be anything on it anyway. And then it's going to go ahead and install the new system software. This will take a few minutes, just let it do its thing. It will reboot, and then it's going to reboot again. And this time it's going to boot up to a screen again asking you to plug in the PS4 controller and hit the PlayStation button, so do that. And now we're just back at the original PS4 setup, basically just like when you first got it. So just go right ahead and select your language and everything. And also, uh, don't worry about it too much because remember, your settings are going to be restored from that backup if you did make a backup. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So these will probably just get overwritten anyway. Now after you accept this license agreement, it's going to tell you the PS4 is ready and hit start. And there you go, we've booted under our PS4 software and if we go up to our settings, 
and we go to system storage management you'll see our new drive size is registering there so I put in a one terabyte hard drive and it's showing 861 gigabytes so that's about right so if you didn't make a backup that's the last thing you need to do and you're done but if you did let me show you how to restore it go back to the main settings menu and go to system and then go to backup and restore this time it's going to show you all the restore options available from the USB drive you've got plugged in select it there should only be one there just press X and then hit restore it's gonna warn you that uh, this is gonna wipe the settings you have right now that's okay because we're replacing them with our old ones just hit yes it'll reboot into this restore menu and take a few minutes to go through the restore process then it'll reboot again you'll see this rebuilding database that's normal just let it go through and that's it now our PS4 is fully set up it's going to ask you again for your password to your PSN account so that someone can't just clone your PS4 and use it to get access. But otherwise, you're good to go. If you need to, just re-download all your applications from your library and you're all set. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know with a comment down below what you upgraded to or were you fixing a PS4 with a dead hard drive? I went with a 1TB myself and personally that's looking like it should be good for now. Give me a like if you like this video, hit subscribe if you want to see more cool videos, and hit that bell to get a notification when I post. Feel free to check out another video like this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.